exams are around the corner and this video is just going to help you prepare for the exams. The exam is a two hour formal written assessment um, in three parts. The first part, part A, has short questions for five marks or less and it and counts a total of 30 marks. Part B has four short essay questions for 10 marks each, similar to the questions in your assignments. And then part C um, has two questions that you had to discuss with your e-tutor. Remember, each of these questions also have two parts. The total of your exam is 100 marks. You can study all exam papers if you like, but the format of the exam paper has changed. So it might be more valuable to focus on the questions you did with your e-tutor and to look at your assignments and what mistakes you made over there. If you do study all the exam papers, leave out the 25 mark questions because I'm not going to ask you any 25 mark questions anymore, but focus on the 10 mark questions. There's a couple of things you can do before the exams. Firstly, you can learn from previous mistakes. Look at your assignments, see what you did wrong, compare the answers in tutorial letter 101 and 102, and try to understand what your mistakes were in order to avoid them in the exams. Secondly, you have to discuss the questions at the end of each learning unit with your e-tutor. Otherwise, you might not understand it correctly and do poorly in the exams. Third, study. The more you study, the better your chances of succeeding. But you also have to know how to study. Do not just memorize the facts, dates and statistics and try to recite it in the exam. Rather, read it carefully until you really understand the core and the essence of the work and try to expand on that in the exam rather than learning it word for word. There's also a couple of things you can do during the, the exams. For instance, first, you have to plan. Do not just start to write. First, plan your answer in the rough paper provided in your exam paper. Um, plan what you want to write before you start. Do not write out the whole answer because you'll run out of time. Just write down key words until you're satisfied you remembered everything and it's a nice structure. Then start writing your answer. When you're done, read it through quickly to see if it makes sense. Second, the length. For a five mark question, you need to write about a half a page. For a 10 mark question, you will need to write about a page. You'll only get one page for a short essay question, so make sure you plan accordingly. Thirdly, graphs. When you have to draw a graph for an answer, make sure you label the axis, the curves, and indicate important points like equilibrium. You always have to discuss a graph. Never draw only a graph for an answer. That's poor economics. When discussing a graph, start by explaining what everything is. For instance, you can say, the curve mark S shows the supply curve. Then you go on by saying any changes. For, ex for example, after the pollution in a nearby area decreased, the, the supply curve of the farmer increased from S to S2. Then you explain any results due to the change. For instance, due to the shift of the supply curve from S to S2, the quantity increased from Q to Q2. Then you've explained the graph and what it means sufficiently. Fourth, always write in essay format. That means you start with a very sh short introduction, then you write the body of your answer, and then a one or two sentence conclusion at the end. Students who write in bullet points will be penalized. And even if the, gra the, uh, the question asks you to draw a graph, you should still write your answer in essay format. And fifth, Time yourself. Take a watch with you to the exam. Not a cell phone, but a watch. And make sure you do not spend all your time on one answer. For a 10 mark question, you have about 12 minutes. Now, study hard, sleep well, and do not stress. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Good luck.